So we need to follow naming conventions, right? So I think we followed 0A uh, view 3. Okay. Yes. So first we discuss this is a defined view. So defined view is a simple view, like I mean from one source. Okay. Nothing but from one table, we are trying to get the certain fields and creating that view. Okay. And we have seen that program also, like I mean how that CDS views can be used in our report programs. Okay, do you guys remember all those things? It's, it's, it's been a week, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is that is what we did. And after that, we did the joins. Okay, with the joins, like I mean, we have used EKPO on EKPO. Okay, so then the same like our select uh, open SQL uh, select statement uh, joins are there, right? In a join, the same thing here also, like I mean, CDSP is also the same concept joins. Okay left out or giant inner giant okay all those things are available here these are our requirements you can use it okay so now today we'll go for with parameters okay So first and foremost thing, what we should do when you create a CDS view, what we should do? Change the SQL view name. Sorry? To change the SQL view name. To... The SQL view name, we need to change it, right? Yeah. yeah. So just go G is. SQL 3. Okay. So then, so if you want to change the label, you can change it. Let's go for this. So some material details will go. Material. So with parameters, there is a parameters with parameters. Here, what will happen with parameters? Nothing but kind of you know, it will before execute before giving a result, it will pop up a window like where you can give you know your inputs based on that inputs. Okay, your CDS view will display the results. Okay, so the last two is two CDSPs. What we have seen is like I mean you know, it's a kind of static CDS view like whatever. You know, we have returned in the view. We are simply we are getting the result. That's it. But with parameter, you can make it kind of you know dynamic. Okay, based on some input, your CDS view should give the result. Okay, so that is what the basically with parameters usage. Okay, so we will mention that here. So now, what is the requirement we are going to do? We are going to, you know, get the material details based on material type. You will pass the material type, okay, as a parameter, as an input, okay. For that material type in the system, whatever materials are there, that we will get it, okay. So for that, I am just going with the uh, material type, okay. Type. And it's material type, I think it's MTRT, right? MTRT. Okay. And then from Mara table, okay, you will give the what are the fields you wanted now. Okay. M A T N R. Okay. Then MTRT okay. Then what are other fields? Okay, let's put over the table. Okay. 
not all right. Okay, so MAT NR, MTRT, then material group MAT KL, and base unit of measure will go with all these things. Okay, so MTRT will take MAT KL. Okay, so with this Siddhi fields we will go. So now just save it and check that and yes, okay successful now we we'll try to execute it so, this one please go on mute so one is in if you're not talking please go on mute mental yeah thank you See, now you'll have that material, but yes, we have not put it to that condition where class we should write it. Okay, yes, just a minute, I'll write the where class. Okay, here we need to write where MTRT, MTRT equal to parameters and and yes okay so this is how you will donate it dollar parameters you should use it okay so if you are referring to any parameters values whichever you have taken in the cds view okay in the definition inside if you are right if you are going to use them so you should use like this okay so now check it activate it Yes, so if you know any material types, let's go. Yeah. Service, do we have anything? Yeah, 20 meters we have. Let's pass this. in material type materials only details you get it okay so this is what the parameters clear yes Raja. yeah so now we will uh, see how to use these parameters uh, cds view in our program Right, create a program for this one program. Auntie. Hey, please go on your Please go on your plug. Yeah. 
Ankita, please go on mute. Yeah, some connectivity issues. Sorry? Just one minute. Some connectivity. I'm not able to un I'm not able to mute. Just one minute. Okay, this uh, let's create a program. Just now, what you'll do, you'll have a parameters. Okay. The same parameters P, D, D, D. We are going to use it that and select those are all fields you want. Select star. From what is the table? Oh, sorry. What is the CDS view name? So this is how we'll get it. On top of this, if you want to have any conditions, normal where class you can write and you can get it. Okay, but when you are using CDS view with parameters, okay, so you need to view like this. Then we'll just display by using demo class. Mara. Okay, Excellent. check it, activate it. So understood guys how that should be used in our programs CDS views with parameters. So this is what the with parameters 